chapter 6, lesson 1, is multiplication table of twos. So this now is the start of the lesson on multiplication that withdraws the visual aid most of the times. So the first thing that we need to teach our kids, especially now, is how to do finger counting. So we need to teach them tables of two first. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So we got to start with that. Um, I usually will suggest to parents to have their kids write down the table as well so that it stays in the brain cells of the kids. We also need to remind our kids to get used to the number of groups, items per group, and total items so that when we get to the word problems, they won't struggle anymore. Okay, so uh, the problems for today come from page 91. Okay, page 91 says, Sam has eight bundles of crayons. Each bundle has two crayons. Okay, so there's a drawing, eight bundles. Okay, inside, inside are two crayons each. Okay, the question is, he has how many crayons all together? So again, number of groups, items per group, total items. So clearly there's eight bundles. There's two crayons per group. This is now the question. So if we set up, the setup is actually eight times two. Okay, so this is a question mark. So, but the lesson is about tables of twos. So, we want to be consistent. It's number of groups times items per group. But as I showed in the last chapter, it's also okay to have items per group times number of groups. So, when we write, we write consistently. But when we solve, we count by tables of two. Because two is the lesson now. It's not tables of eight tables of two. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So he has 16 crayons all together. This section also has a lesson that is to me counterproductive but as parents we need to teach our kids because it's part of their lesson. Okay the example is number three. It's seven times two equals question mark. So if I were teaching this, I teach it as count by twos until seven fingers. However, the lesson requires them to start counting up to the closest number in terms of fives or of tens to seven. So in their case, they do five times two. Okay, then what they're going to do is they're going to add two more groups of twos. Okay, so which means if they start with a five groups of two, that will be 10. Then they have two more groups of two, that will be four. Together, this is 14. Uh, honestly, it's counterproductive because it's harder for the brain cells to think this way. It's actually better if we just teach our kids to count two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, 14. That's way quicker than having them think what makes up the 7 that's closest to 5 or 10, right? So um, again, it's a lesson in the chapter. We need to teach them because it's part of their lesson in their school. But if you're homeschooling your children, I would suggest not to include this in their lesson. That concludes lesson one of chapter six. See you in the next lesson.